Hey guys, Demon here, and today I am reviewing The Joker, or Joker, I should say, not The Joker. The movie that just came out, um, I guess today, or yesterday, technically, because it was a special release and stuff like that. But, uh, whatever, right? So, we're gonna do this, uh, normally. We're gonna do spoiler-free, then spoilers, and... Oh boy, I gotta say, this is my favorite movie of 2019. To be honest, this is my favorite movie I've seen in quite a long time. Uh, but definitely favorite of 2019. So better than uh, Avengers Endgame. I think that was in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Um, better than Spider-Man and a few others that I've seen. Maybe there's something just as good or better than this movie, but I have not seen it. Uh, if there is, tell me in the comments and I'll check it out and see if it is. But I highly doubt it because this was a really, really good movie. Um, it has a lot of references in it to other movies and plus, like, obviously DC Comics. But it's really freaking awesome. <laughs> it was just like, it was fantastic. That's that's what it was. It was fantastic. This movie in general was just fantastic. Oh, man. So, spoiler free. Um, how do, how to explain this movie without spoiling it? Well, first off, let me explain something, uh, to see if you would actually like this movie, okay? First off, there's not as much violence as you would think there is, even though there's been, like, a lot, a lot of controversy and stuff like that, saying this movie's gonna cause violence and stuff like that. Um, there's not as much violence as you would think there is. There is some violence, um, sprinkled throughout the movie, a lot at the end of the movie, but just sprinkled throughout the movie, there's some violence. But not as much as you think there's going to be. Um, there's no superheroes. Just uh, just a man slowly going insane. Which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, not not no superheroes. Just one man slowly going insane. It can be slow at times. I will say that much. Like at times it's a little bit like, ooh, it's dragging on a little bit here. But for the most part, it's, like, it's a good pace. But you might not like it because it's a lot of talking and stuff like that. No really action or something like that. So if you're thinking you're going to see uh, the jo like Joker fighting Batman or something like that, you're not going to see that. Um, anything else that people might not like? It has some dark. Uh, it has some dark humor. What kind of humor? The kind of humor a lot of people do not appreciate. Not like a racy, edgy, racist humor, but like um, racy, edgy, uh, death humor. Like, uh, ooh, I killed those guys, <laughs> sort of thing, you know? Uh, so, so that kind of humor, if you're not a fan of that kind of humor, you're not going to like it. Um, it shows society in not the best light at the same time, especially the upper rich class, and also mental... Uh, you know, mental, uh, mental illness, it shows that and not the, it doesn't show it in a bad light, obviously, but it shows it in a light that does describe some people's predicaments. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that at a certain point in this movie, you're going to start thinking, like, at first you're going to be rooting for Joker, and then at a certain point you're going to start rooting for, for the other people. To me, that wasn't personally true. I rooted for Joker the whole movie because, I don't know, his character was just, like, that enthralling to me. By the way, I'm not going to turn into a Joker. <laughs> it's, 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 it's people are thinking that. That's pretty stupid. Uh, just because people uh, root for their Joker doesn't mean they're crazy or something like that. I just assume they just, like, rooted for him because, I don't know, sometimes it's okay to root for a villain, especially when the people that he's fighting against are kind of assholes in the beginning as well. So, I don't know. I just I just felt like I was more on par with him than the people he was fighting against. And plus, I guess that's another bad thing about this movie, is that the only one that really gets character in this movie is the Joker. Um, he's the only one that gets character. Everybody else is kind of just like a background character that kind of just are there, you know? So... You don't really feel any connection to anybody else except the Joker. So, it's uh, it's so that might be a bad thing, might be a good thing. Uh, to me, I didn't really notice it that much until I thought of it now. I guess, 
But um, I thought this movie was a 10 out of 10, so I don't know. Um, without spoiling it, still on the spoiler-free section, uh, this movie can be a bit confusing, I will say that much. There's a few parts in there that you're thinking, ooh, that's pretty cool, like, he's actually doing something with his life, that's cool, that's pretty nice. But then at the end, it's just like, okay. Uh, like, the ending itself is kind of confusing as well, it's just like, did that actually happen, or did that happen? Like what happened there? It's 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 all it's all over the place. Uh it's basically looking through the eyes of a mentally uh a mentally uh disabled person, I guess. It's um it's interesting to say at least. It's pretty interesting, but pretty damn cool at the same time. Um spoiler section, by the way. I'm done with spoiler free. Let's go to the spoiler section. So this movie is freaking awesome. This starts off with a Joker trying to live his life. He has uh, mental problems. He needs pills for them. But the city uh, cuts off the program that he's on so he can't get his pills anymore. Which makes him go even more insane. And before that, everybody thought he was a creep because he laughed. Because he has this uh, sickness that makes you laugh. I don't know what it's called, but like... It's a thing that people actually have where they can't control their laughing. And, like, after they laugh, sometimes they just go, and sometimes they just, just can't stop laughing. And it's, like, an emotional response sometimes, and sometimes it's another response. Um, it's it's a it's an illness, and it's a pretty... It's, it's saddening illness, you know? And plus, he's, like, depressed. You can totally tell he's depressed. And plus he has some other illness that I'm not sure what it is. I don't know what it is exactly. But basically he sees hallucinations. Because there's two, there's a few hallucinations. First off, there's a girl that he likes. That we see. And she kind of talks to him. And then at the end she's going out with him. But at the end it turns out that that's a hallucination. And the whole thing didn't happen. And then... He goes to see the girl, and we don't know what actually happens, but it's insinuated that he might have killed her. We don't actually know, though. Um, plus, he kills his mother. That's, that's something, too. Um, and also, there's a hallucination where he thinks he's in the, in the audience of this comedian that he loves on TV. Uh, that's a reference to a movie, by the way. <laughs> um... He loves this comedian on TV, and he thinks he's in the audience, and then the comedian, like, says, like, oh, I'd love you like a son sort of thing, but that was all this a hallucination, and, um, the ending part may or may not have been a hallucination, because at the end, people saved him from being put in prison, and then he's, he's like, he's like, yeah, I did this, this is awesome sort of thing, but then he's still, he's, then he's like, at the very end, he's in a psych ward, um, with blood on his shoes, so uh, he's in a psych ward talking to someone, and then he walked out of there with blood on his shoes, so you can assume that he beat that person to death. Um, and it's interesting, to say the least, it's just like, did that ending happen, or is he in a psych ward? It's, it's very interesting, to say the least, um, but very, very cool. Like, uh, it was a very cool thing to see, to, to say the least. Like, I, I just loved it. I loved it. <laughs> um... What else? What else? Hmm. There's a psych word. I already talked about that. The relationship between him. Oh yeah, the relationship between him and his mom is him and his mother as well. Basically, he's the only one that takes care of her. Uh, and at the end, he finds out that Thomas Wayne, Bruce Wayne's dad, might be his father. But then he goes there and he basically says, like, that's crazy. Your mom was a crazy person. She adopted you and basically sent him off. And then he found out that she went to uh, Arkham Asylum and he went there to get her files. He got her files. And it turns out that she let someone beat him almost to death. And um, that supposedly that he was adopted. Now, I think that means that he was adopted and, like, that that's all that. But then again, his mother also said, like, 
Thomas Wayne made her sign papers to make it look like that. So it was left ambiguous to me personally. So some people, they might be like, oh, that's infinitive. Like, that's proof that he's not that. But to me, I kind of felt like that was left uh, ambiguous, that that could have been true or not true. So he might be Batman's brother in this universe, I guess. Um, so that's pretty cool, to say the least. Um, but yeah, man, like, it just shows the life of this mentally disturbed guy who has a hard time in society. Uh, also, the rich people of society are just, like, barreling down this guy. Uh, not barreling down, but, like, basically they're high class. Uh, Thomas Wayne even says people that, that can't lift themselves up are basically jokers and fools. Because they can't do that. Um, even though that doesn't make any sense. Because some people don't get the same opportunities. And some people are just in a worse place. Some people can lift themselves up. And get to a better place. Kudos to those people. But some people just can't do it. You know. It's a, it's a sad fact of life. That uh, not everybody is uh, born with a silver spoon in their mouth. You know what I mean? So... That's a part, and then, like, he's mentally insane at the same time, and uh, the whole time, though, I was rooting for him, because, you know, screw society, I guess. <laughs> just joking. Um, but yeah, in the context of this of this movie, it was just like, I'm rooting for the Joker, so. But yeah, like, in general, this movie was just fantastic. Um, at the end... I, like, one of the parts, he was just like, I used to think my life was a tragedy, but now I know it's a comedy. Uh, slowly slipping more and more into insanity. Because, again, he's get, he's get he has no help with his uh, mental problems anymore. Because the city cut off the funding, which cities tend to do to some things. And that can really screw over a lot of people. And when he was one of those people, and little did they know that they helped create... Uh, they helped created a monster. They helped to create a monster. But yeah, like, this movie was awesome. Uh, to be honest, this is my favorite interpretation of a Joker in any movies. Um, maybe except for some comic books. But this is my favorite interpretation of the Joker ever. Uh, not my favorite voice acting. Uh, my favorite had to be um, Mark Hamill, I think it was. Right? That's the man that voice acted. You know, Luke... Luke Skywalker, he used to voice act the, the Joker in the, in the cartoons. That was probably my favorite voice, but this would have to be my favorite interpretation in general. Uh, just of the Joker. So this beats, uh, like, the Dark Knight trilogy uh, for me, obviously. Or the Dark Knight movies. I don't know if it was a trilogy or not. I forgot. <laughs> uh, it also beats my, my previous favorite, which was... Um, what what's his name? I forgot. I'll put a picture up here if I remember. <laughs> Which was him? Oh, Jack Nicholson. That's his name, Jack Nicholson. Um, yeah, he used to be my favorite, my uh, previous favorite Joker. But this is guy I would take the cake. And I gotta say, dude, this Joker, this movie in general, just ten out of ten to me. And uh, I would definitely suggest going to see this. Unless you don't like the things I already mentioned, then don't go see this. And definitely don't bring your kids to this. Um, because they'd probably be bored. First off, they'd probably just be really bored. And second off, probably not a good thing to show kids. <laughs> but anyways, I really enjoyed this movie. I hope you do too. I hope you go watch this movie. Um, it's really awesome. It's just, it's just a great movie. Uh, best movie DC has put out... In a long time. But anyways. I hope you enjoyed. If you did like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit the bell notification. Because that's the best way to keep up with my content. Go down to the link below to my Twitter. And as always your friends. Stay sane. Peace. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did. You should check out this one. Or this one. Or you know. Click right there. Because that was subscribed to my channel. That middle one right there. Anyways. um, I hope you liked it. If you did like, comment, subscribe, and share. Go to my Twitter and follow. As always, my friends, stay sane. Peace.